There are no dubs that uh, the Adios Pro Evo 1 is a special shoe, and there are no dubs that this is a crazy expensive shoe. So the question is why the shoes was even released to the public? Shall I buy it? This is the question I'm going to answer in this video. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I mean, Adidas even put the disclaimer card uh, with uh, these shoes uh, uh, that says uh, it's not meant for uh, anyone uh, uh, who runs the marathon uh, slower than 3 hours 30 and I believe they were probably even uh, uh, pretty kind. I'm not neither an affiliate nor sponsored by Adidas. Uh, in this video I'll share you my uh, humble opinions about this uh, uh, special shoe. One thing is clear, this shoe is designed uh, for uh, elite runners like uh, Azefa who smashed the uh, women's uh, world record uh, at the Berlin Marathon. This is a shoe designed for racing at the highest level of sport, uh, uh, like a new Formula 1 car. So it is essentially a prototype, uh, already successful and super light, uh, about 140 grams in my size US 10. So it is almost uh, magical, you cannot even feel it in your hands. I mean, there are no doubts, the materials uh, used in the house for midsole and up uh, uh, make the shoe 40% uh, lighter than all the other shoes in the lineup, uh, Adios Pro 3 in included. Also now! The whole new outsole uh, rubber looks like uh, tissue paper glued uh, to the midsole. It has 20 grams of weight saving uh, at least, uh, and according to the review, uh, still has a great grip like uh, the continental rubber, even in wet conditions, everything at the expense, of course, of uh, durability. But it makes sense. You ever read about Formula One uh, uh, car durability? No. The main focus is always the performance, right? Midsole now! The midsole is not the normal Light Strike Pro, uh, despite the name is the same. Uh, it is not the form you can find in the Takumi or uh, in the Adios Pro. It is made from uh, a non compression uh, foam, uh, but uh, really no one knows. Maybe a TPE or uh, EVA foam, uh, still not sure. But it looks like a single block of foam cut in two pieces uh, to sandwich uh, the uh, energy rods in, in carbon. While uh, maybe it doesn't look such an innovation, even though in terms of performance there is for sure a gap uh, from the Adios Pro 3, again, the ladder weight is unbelievable. Everything in these shoes has been stripped down to where only the essential parts uh, remain, uh, like in a race car. And this is where it, for the upper too. Upper now! The fine mesh upper is super thin and light. The uh, tongue is just a flap of the same material with uh, a small peel of strip just to protect the uh, uh, foot arc. Uh, the toe cap is basically tape uh, and the heel counter is uh, mostly the same uh, uh, as uh, the Adios Pro 3 because it was a request from uh, uh, Adidas athletes when testing out the shoe. And in conclusion, I mean, Adidas has been transparent about uh, its durability, making it clear that um, this shoe is only meant uh, uh, for one race, maybe two. So you know that uh, you will buy the equivalent amount of plastic of a bunch of uh, water bottles for $500. But at least even if you waste it after the race, uh, this is not that amount of plastic. And here it comes uh, the answer to the initial question, uh, why Adidas released uh, the Pro Evo 1 to the public? He did it for those ones who put a lot of effort uh, and attention on their training, nutrition, and uh, they are going for a huge goal, a personal goal like uh, Olympic qualifying. Uh, they are far under the 3 hour 30 in, in a marathon, but they are still not uh, elite runners. And then yes, there is a value there, and this is the shoe. And let's be clear and honest, uh, this shoe you will keep in a, a case uh, on the living room to celebrate the marathon PR, you will not throw it away. So if you are one of those athletes, you might consider this shoe for uh, your next uh, huge goal. Even though I'm under uh, three hours uh, in a marathon, uh, I'm not planning any uh, Olympic uh, trial qualification, uh, so for me and uh, for my goals, uh, an Adios Pro 3 is uh, more than enough. I hope I answered this question and you understand my opinion about uh, why this shoe has been released to the public. Uh, if you have other questions, please uh, raise your question in the comment below. As always, if you like this content, don't forget to support the channel and my work, leaving a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, activate the notification bell so you won't miss uh, any new content. That motivates me a lot. Thank you for watching guys and till the next time. Keep running. Bodies feeling lost, feeling great. Go. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, Go. and I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. 
I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say.